AU details coming up. Meanwhile, several teams scrimmaging around the county. A four-way scrimmage happening in our town. We have a highlight from each of those teams. How about Mission Hills versus Ramona? Jack Tuttle the spiral. Look at Chris Olave with a nice grab. These two would hook up six times, including this one from 13 yards out against Valhalla. Ravona versus Amira Mesa and Bulldogs running back Caleb Berman splits the defense. It goes 22 yards for the score. Mira Mesa versus Mission Hills. Noah Tumblin dumps it off to Artvom Har, and he shimmies his way 15 yards into the end zone while the Norsemen taking on the Grizzlies. And Dennis Adalin rolls out to the right and finds Cole Lewis for the score. These teams all begin the real seasons next uh, Friday. How about PPR previews? We start at Crawford where they have a nearly completed stadium, although they have a small 17-man roster this year. They're all healthy and eager, not only to play on their new field, but to make it to the postseason. Yeah, I feel like throughout the whole camp, county, everybody's sleeping on Crawford, and I just wanna, it just, I feel like it puts a chip on our shoulder, and I just feel like we're, we're gonna do good, we're gonna get a win this season, and hopefully go to CIF, win it all. Yeah, last year we were riddled with injuries, and uh, this year everybody who was injured is healthy now, and that's a good thing. Uh, next stop, San Ysidro High School. The Cougars are coming off their best a season since the school was open. Winning their first league title in 2016 as well as making the playoffs for the second time in school history. This season, they hate to keep on building on the momentum. We was doing real good. We were working real hard, you know, having good practices, you know. We're just playing, playing our hearts out, you know. So that's what we're going to do on the field. I think we did great in the offseason. We were hitting the weight room every day. We were out there. Um, our coach Pew came down from PE and gave us a lot of exercises for weight. I'm trying to stay focused, lead the defense, call the plays. If someone, if a player messes up, try to keep his head up, tell him you can do better. We stay in the South Bay, the Southwest Raiders. Returning 14 starters this season, their head coach Paco Silva is in his third season with the club. In 2017, the offense will be led by running backs Leonard Hoare and Joshua Sanchez, who are both getting college looks. We're, we're just getting ready for the season. We're hoping to bring a banner to the school. That's our main goal. Uh, first game, you know, against San Diego High, that, that's what we're working for right now. One game at a time, you know. Our mindset during practice is just get it done. Get it done. We want to show out every game. We take it game by game. But that's, that's just our mindset right now is just finishing. Because last year, that's what we didn't do. We didn't finish. The Colonel Tim Gaughan racking up some gas money as he travels to Pine Valley to talk with the players in Mountain Empire where Bernard Van returns for his third season. The Red Hawks return 16 starters, including seniors Wyatt Mann and Blake Jarrell as they hope to win their first league championship since 2012. It's a lot more intensely. We're a lot, a lot more chemistry together and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to be back on the field and help us out more. We got a quarterback that can move out of the pocket and stuff. Everyone's, we got a tough linebacking core. We should be pretty good this season. I would say we're a very hard working team. We're up and coming and sky's the limit for us. Well, this school formerly known as Lutheran is now Victory Christian. Head coach Ron Allen returns for his sixth season. They'll field an 11-man team for the first time ever this season. There are also road warriors traveling throughout San Diego, Riverside, and Imperial counties in search of their first 11-man league win. They open their season against Riverside Carnegie on August 25th. We're a hard-working group. You know, we have our numbers are small, but we have heart. We come out here and work every day. We don't have very many guys with experience because we have such a small school body. It takes a lot of heart to go out there on the field when you're going against guys that have like 50 players at least and come out with like a decent game. While the San Diego State Aztec Stone have a clean bill of health just yet, there are no new cases of chickenpox since the outbreak that caused Rocky Long to cancel a day of practice on Monday. So it's full steam ahead for Saturday's scrimmage at the stadium formerly uh, named after a cell phone parts. Uh, the first time the Aztecs will be able to call San Diego Stadium their own now that their big brother has moved to Costa Mesa. That means no more double hash marks or redrawn lines from the NFL. I might try to convince the people that align the field to align it just like they always have. So that there's two sets of hash marks and two sets of numbers, even though the hash marks are de designated a different way. I think that gave us an advantage because we painted our practice field just like the stadium field. I think our guys didn't, it didn't bother our guys at all, but it bothered some visiting teams.
Hmm, interesting strategy. Well, the San Diego media should think they're lucky stars. We get to cover Rocky Long. It could be so much worse, just as describes at Tuscaloosa. I don't know. You know, you guys make all these predictions about everything, about guys that are going to be great players that have been here for two years and who's going to win all the games. And I don't even know why we play. Why, why do we even play? Why do we even have practice? Why, why do we compete? Why do we coach guys? Why, how do they need to improve? I mean, you guys got all the answers to, I mean, how guys are going to be, what they're going to do. I don't even, I mean, sometimes I, I wonder, but why, why, why do we play? Practice? All right. Meanwhile, Christian Highs, Joey Versich, uh, carrying the San Diego banner at the USGA Amateur up at Riviera. The kid from El Cajon facing Doug Gim in the first round of 16. Joey's tee shot at 16, a thing of beauty, but it's not enough as Gim ousting the senior Patriot who's heading to Reno, Nevada, 3-2. and two. Men's soccer coach Seamus McFadden is in the final year of his 39-year career at USD, so it's only right he get around to joining us on the sports rail. You can see the entire interview on KUSI.com. Here's Paul's favorite part. That the legacy you built is in the hands of another Irishman? Absolutely. You know, Brian, uh, we, we go back a long time, and uh, he's a great soccer player, and, and more importantly, he's a great person and an incredibly gifted coach. So it's not often, you know, you can hand over the reins to somebody that uh, you, feel he st you feel strongly about, and I think Brian would be excellent. Your thoughts about uh, professional soccer perhaps coming to San Diego? Well, I, I, I certainly think San Diego deserves a, an MLS team. Uh, I'm not really sure of the dynamics, you know, but looking in the window, I think, you know, both parties just need to sit down. There needs to be more transparency involved and put it on the table and hopefully both parties can walk away and, and be happy. How would an MLS team having a franchise here, how would it affect the collegiate programs here? Oh, it would be great. It would be a real impetus to the to 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 soccer, youth soccer, you know, college soccer, high school soccer. It'd be great. Well, day 22 out at Del Mar, your Thursday feature the $60,000 fifth for California bread or California sired two-year-old maiden fillies, Trava Denman. Come to dispute it. It's Silver Spun pick up on the outside, doing slightly better. Singer Solo's all heart though, battling right back. Late run from my claw. Silver Spun pick up, very close. Silver Spun pick up, Singer Solo. My claw was. The third. photo finish, Silver Sun pick up is your winner with Martin Pedroza aboard the two year old Philly, trained by Mike Mikowski, paying 10 40 for the win. We must take a quick break and then we'll see what we have left. The ASR returns in 120 seconds. <laughs> 